Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This is your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have Javante Tank Davis, that killer day gorilla from Baltimore, the three division world champion, um, the hottest young star in the game right now. And we know Tank trying to become the face of boxing if he get past Ryan Garcia April 22nd. Then we have King Ryan Garcia, the undefeated top contender. Ryan is most definitely one of the hottest young stars in the game. You know, he's trying to become the face of boxing when he take on Tank. But I want Ryan Garcia to pay attention to what's going on in his gym. I want Ryan Garcia to find a spy in his gym. And I want him to kick him out. I want y'all to listen to what Tank had to say. And I'll be back with the great assessment, family. Definitely got to take heed of, to everything. Yeah, because like, you can see how they moving. Like, okay. Even like his, his arm reach, his body frame, like his jaw, like everything. Just little stuff like that. That's, even like... When we weigh in, we got to weigh in with all our, like, not all our clothes, but our shirts all mm -hmm. type stuff. And I can see him actually more. Mm -hmm. And we know, like, just how he train, like, like when he training, like, how far he running and all that. We try to, like, get, uh, like, I want to actually be, like, down that close to him right. type stuff. So you can take as much yeah, information yeah, yeah, as yeah. you can. Facts. No, that makes sense. So as I can see, man, Tank say they spying in on Ryan to know everything about Ryan. You understand? Tank is on his job. Tank is taking this fight very serious. He's not playing no games, none whatsoever. You feel me? Um, he's taking the page out of Floyd Money Mayweather's book. We know how Floyd used to make sure he watched everything his opponent do from inside to out. You know what I mean? And, you know, things like that, hey, give certain fighters the advantage over you, bro. It really does. You know what I mean? And Tank, he training his ass off. We see him in the interviews, he's smiling, he talking, he feeling good, you know what I mean? Um, and he ready for April 22nd, man. He's ready for April 22nd. He want to go out there, he want to put Ryan Garcia face in the dirt. He want to get a big time knockout, and he want to become, you know what I'm saying, put himself in position to become the face of boxing, you know what I'm saying? We still know Canelo right there. But with Ryan Garcia, I want Ryan Garcia to pay close attention to what's really going on and what was going on in this camp, bro. You feel me? If Tank getting this type of information on you, you need to focus on your camp. You need to focus on the gym, who you got inside the gym, and who can possibly be a mole and a spy giving off that information to Javante Tank Davis to see you, to see you take an L on April 22nd. You understand what I'm saying? So whomever in your camp, bro, Ain't part of the team. They ain't part of the team. They getting paid under the table. You feel me? They filming. They paying attention to what you do. They watching everything that goes on. And they passing off the info, bro. They passing off the info. So you got to be a little bit more smarter and a little bit more tighter on who you bring into camp and who you think is part of the team and who's not part of the team. You don't want to give away the edges. You don't want to give no man an upper hand on you or none of that. I don't give a damn if you ain't training. You don't want them to know that you're not training. I don't give a damn if you ain't running an extra mile or you ain't sport an extra round. You don't want them to know that you didn't run an extra mile or you didn't sport an extra round. That's inside business. You feel me? If you woke up this morning you didn't feel good so you did X, Y, and Z, you don't need your opponent knowing that because he's going to take advantage of that and he'll go work his ass off and put more time in. And say, I know he's not doing this, so let me do it. You know what I'm saying? Boston is 80% mental, baby. 80% mental. And it's most definitely going to be a mind game inside that ring. Especially with both of these dudes having the type of power that they got. And, and you know, trying not to get hit. And they got to be smart. You know what I'm saying? They got to be smart. So, Ryan, you better pay attention to what's going on inside and outside your gym. You know what I'm saying? Can't be too friendly. That's what Tank trying to, you know, toughen you up. Letting you know, boy, you better quit being so friendly. Everybody ain't your partner. And everybody ain't got your best interest at heart. So you better understand and control your gym, bro. You better understand and control your gym. Because, like I say, every little bit counts. Every little bit count, bro. And then when we look at Ryan, a lot of people looking at Ryan, they saying he angry. They saying he weight drain. Everybody putting a, a jacket on the man already. A lot of people count them out already, and it's just mind-boggling. It's really mind-boggling because the way Ryan Garcia is training and things like that, bro, he still look the same, and I got a video coming on that. You know what I'm saying?
But with this situation right here, dog, um, I want everybody to be on the even playing field. I want everybody to be on the even playing field. You know what I'm saying? Um, how do you get spies inside a gym? How do people know what you're doing? What is really going on? I mean, bro, some things need to be aired out. Some things need to be aired out, fam, because, you know, I'm firm, but I'm fur. You understand what I'm saying? I am firm, but I'm fur. That's why when it came to the contract and the rehydration clause and things like that, I said Ryan Garcia signed the contract. You feel me? You can't get pissed off at that. Everybody mad at Tank. Oh, man, why you put the rehydration clause in the contract? Why you do this? Why you do that? Ryan signed it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That means he's okay with it, right? That's the that's a play that Tank put in, and he got it played. You know what I mean? Ryan got to put him a play in and get it played. For something that Ryan Garcia want from Tank, you got to put that shit in the contract, put it in motherfucking black and white, have him sign the contract, and then you got it. You understand? But other than that, bro, I'm not I'm not mad at that situation. That's just fair game right there. Um, when you're doing business and you sit down at the table, whatever you agree to, that's what you agree to. Once the contract is signed, Money Brown ain't saying nothing to nobody about nothing. We got the fight. You understand? We got the fight. Now, when it comes to preparing for the fight, when it comes to training for the fight and things of that nature, I want everything to be on the even playing field. I don't want nobody taking no steroids. I don't want nobody cheating. I don't want nobody in the camp spying on this fighter. I don't want nobody in his camp spying on that fighter. Now, prepare and, and, you know what I'm saying, let your senses take over in the ring on if you're working on something new or not. You feel me? If you're working on something new and you got to adjust to that, then you adjust to that in the ring. And your, your, your ring IQ should pick up on it. You understand? From you watching film and from your coaches watching film and you seeing what they like to do. And then you know what? Oh, he ain't doing that no more. He doing something different, coach. Is you picking up on it? Yeah, okay, well, he trying to do this and we go do that. That's how I like it. I like it to, to be that way. Not somebody in the goddamn gym spying, telling you, well, he doing this and he doing that. You feel me? And Ryan Garcia, he most definitely... He most definitely need to be on point and on cue with everything he's doing because, like I say, he ain't got, like, I respect the speed, the power, um, you know, the, the precision that he got, but he don't got all the skills in the world. He don't. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's okay because sometimes in, in, in this hurt business, you don't need all the skills in the world. You just need to know how to do what you do and, and you know, perfect what you do inside that ring and even though motherfucker saying you ain't got all the skills, well, you can't stop what I'm doing. And if I catch your ass with it, I'm going to hurt you badly. You know what I mean? And that's what Ryan do. Ryan catch these boys with things and he hurt them badly. So you don't need nobody spying on you, giving your game plan away and, and what you're doing. You feel me? But at the same time, bro, um, the people around you got to be picking up on that as well. They got to be picking up on that as well. So pay close attention, Ryan. Pay close attention. Um... You know who really got your back and the ones that you just bringing in, whether it's sparring partners, um, new trainers, or whoever the fuck you bringing in, bro, you better watch them closely. You dig me? You better watch them closely because now you don't need nobody giving away nothing this close to the fight, bro. Too close to the fight. And now we all know when, when you at this stage, like a week away, you're cooling down. Um, you're trying to get the last of the weight off. You're doing a little shakeout. You ain't doing too heavy. You're working out. Ain't no sparring going on. Ain't none of that stupid Roy Jones shit going on. Putting your, your fight in the ring, sparring, you know, 10 days out before the fight and, and risking a, a broken hand or a broken jaw, some, you know, some silly shit. So I'm quite sure they're not sparring. But, you know, I just don't want, you know, um, Rack or Seal to go in there and then he do some shit and he be like, how the hell he know that? And then you get discouraged. You feel me? So just pay attention to your circle, man. Pay attention to the camp and, and you know, Get the, get the spies up out of there, bro. Get the spies up out of there. That's what I want Ryan to do, man. You know, like I say, I'm a fan of Ryan Garcia. I like Ryan Garcia. A lot of people shit on Ryan Garcia. Um, I don't agree with Tank and a lot of other people when they say that he shouldn't fight and that he's not a fighter. No, he's a hell of a fighter. He's a hell of a fighter. And boxing changed that man's life. Just like it changed Tank life, it changed Ryan Garcia life for the better. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, I'm not going to never tell a man to stop doing what you do and, and this how you feed your family. Continue to do what you do to feed your family. If you go up against the next and they better than you and it's on the even playing field, then so be it. You got me. You know what I mean? You got me. But other than that, um, the next one ain't going to get me. I promise you that one. You feel me? So at the end of the day, man, uh, Ryan, catch the spy, kick the motherfucker out the gym, and uh, probably give him a gut shot or smack on the back of his motherfucking head and kick up the ass on the way out the door. Straight like that. Tank, you're a bad motherfucker, boy. You're a bad motherfucker. 
You don't need spies and other people counsel things of that nature, but I do understand the game, and I do know what it is, bro. I'm not knocking you, but I just want everything to be on the even playing field because I'm tired of these motherfuckers already, um, you know, trying to knock what you do inside the ring and outside the ring already to make it look like you cheating this dude and trying to drain this dude and that you need to do everything to try to beat him besides just get into the ring and, and go skill for skills, power for power, you know, um, IQ for IQ, and see who the best inside that square circle, man. So we're going to see how this thing play out, man. It's going to be a hell of a fight. April 22nd is around the corner, and I can't wait. Like, I know y'all can't wait, man. We're going to enjoy this thing, man. It's going to be history in the making, you know, and it's going to be great for boxing. So let's just see how it turned out, man. Straight like that.